people's eyes. It's been great. Um, you know, whenever you start a new offense, uh, it's you're always thinking about your next move. You're doing a little extra study. I mean, so you got to do what you got to do, but um, you feel a lot more comfortable out there. You get to kind of let loose and play. So it's been great for us. I think it's, it's helped. Uh, I know for sure the tight ends, it's helped us be able to just go out there and uh, trust our fundamentals, our fundamentals, our instincts. You know, we'll just go out there and play play ball, not so much thinking. <laughs> Luke, um, the bias will born at AL.com as well. Love the stats, man. Thank you. Respect. Thank you. Um, from there, is it possible for the chip, the proverbial chip on the shoulder, to get any bigger than it's already been? You know, you guys didn't get rain, seasoning the way it was, all the stuff in February. Is it possible for that to get even bigger than it already is? I think so. I think so. And, uh, I think that's something that we want. You know, I mean, that's kind of our identity. Uh, if you if you stay out there and watch practice, you can kind of see we we like we like to be that chippy team that kind of just <clears throat> nobody really expects to be at the top, but we know what we're going to do. You know, we're here every day and we're grinding from from dusk till dawn, and that's kind of that's how we like it. You know, we don't we don't expect anybody to pick us first, uh, but that makes it all the more sweeter when we when we come out on top. So I think everybody's working hard, everybody's embracing that, uh, and that's kind of what Coach Harson has been hitting on. Just embrace who we are. Embrace our journey. Um, just embrace the season and everything that comes with it. Just to follow up, like, so how do you balance? Like, listen, you're going to see some of that stuff, right? Yeah. But how do you balance seeing that stuff versus focusing on what you can control? Well, if you're asking me personally, <clears throat> I don't, I don't get on uh, too much social media that much, but um, uh, just kind of just taking it day by day, uh, just knowing that. Within these walls, out there on that practice field, it's our sanctuary. That's where we, uh, that's where we're going to put our, our work in. That's where we're going to live and die on. And uh, that's kind of, it's kind of how you got to balance it out. You know, I mean, if you look too far into outside sources, you're not focusing uh, as much on what we have here, which is something special that we know about. Luke, maybe came over two four seven. Uh, Brian said that Robbie seems like he's a little more assertive in the offense. And- this fall as compared to spring. Just what have you seen from him over these first few days? Yeah, definitely more assertive. Um, I can tell that he's he's taken a lot of the load on his shoulders, uh, whether it's good or bad. You can see that he's taken a lot of ownership, which is something you like to see, uh, especially as a offensive lineman or tight end. Usually, you you kind of get used to uh, just taking the blame because of, we, we don't mind. Um, <laughs> Nobody's looking at us as much as they're looking at QB. So that's pretty cool to see um, <clears throat> him just kind of taking the lead, uh, taking that ownership and assertiveness. Uh, like you said, he's, he's doing a great job. We all know he can run. So it's fast. What have you seen from Mark Joseph? Coach just talked about him and how he's been pretty quick and explosive. What do you see on him as you just try to block that guy? Well, on film, I see the same things. I mean, he's, he's quick now. I, I mean, there's. There's a, there are big guys we have on the team. I mean, you know, we got uh, Jason, a couple of those guys. You got Kobe, huge. I mean, but uh, Morris is just a little, he's a little smaller, but man, he's quick. I can tell you by, uh, I haven't, I haven't had to block him too many times with the offensive line, and they, he's given them a lot of trouble. He really is, uh, because I mean, he brings something different, unique, uh, different to the table. And, and you see a lot of guys in the NFL. I mean. Best player in the NFL right now is Aaron Donald, and he's he's undersized, uh, but but he's quicker than everybody, stronger than everybody. So uh, you see a lot of good qualities out of uh, Mo, and he's he's playing really well. Look, we heard in the <coughs> spring, from, particularly from TJ, about Zay Capers and his improvement, and Carson was just in here talking about how he made great catch today. Just what have you seen from him and kind of his growth? And I know he's one of the older players now, yeah. like the junior, but uh, what have you seen from his growth? Well, I, I remember the first uh, the first time he stepped on campus. We were inside and in the in the indoor and running routes and stuff. And like, wow, this he, he could be really good. Um, so he's making he's definitely making improvements, maturing a lot. Uh, you can tell he's he's a lot more mature and uh, just got to be able to make those plays he did today, and that's that's a good sign for us. Uh, the more receivers we have out there winning one on ones and coming down with the ball, the better it is for everybody. With Johnny Conn, the ABC 30-40 in Birmingham. I just want to ask you a question about how excited your teammates are to get the first five games of the season at home 
in front of your fans and just the chance to establish an identity as a team in your own building. Can you just talk about how excited you guys are for that? It's the best place in the world, so don't have to don't have to travel and uh, you get screaming fans and it's I mean, it's truly a, it's the best environment in college football. Uh, I'm a little biased, but uh, I can comfortably say uh, say that. So five games that'll get us that'll get us rolling. Uh, I think that's really important for us to start strong. So we want to start strong and finish even stronger. Uh, and I think that'll that'll definitely help. Tom Green, what what have you seen from Cameron Brown? He's special. He'll be really good. Um, <clears throat> you obviously look at him. He's long. He's strong. He's he's athletic. But uh, more importantly, he's a, he's a he's a good kid. I've gotten to know him pretty well. And he's he's a he's a great great guy. And I mean, he makes some crazy catches. He's an athletic uh, player, athletic wide receiver, big body. Um, like I said about Zay, we're going to need that down the stretch. How different does that look, that room look right now? As opposed to the one when y'all walked off the field, night and day, night and day. Um, you can just look at them. I mean, we got obvious. We got a lot more size there, um, which is huge. SEC, you need big receivers that can run. Um, but they look a lot more mature. Coach Hilliard's done a great job. Uh, you can tell that they trust Coach Hilliard. I know for a fact. I mean, Landon King's in there, and he's. I mean, I'm really close with him. Obviously, he's tight end, so. Uh, if he likes him, I know he likes him because he comes from a, a, a really good coach in Coach Bedell. We have nothing but good to say about him. And he's got nothing but great to say about Coach Hilliard. So, I, I mean, night and day, I think our receiving room is really maturing a lot. That's a good word for it. Do you miss Landon a little bit? I do. I do. We get we get to see him a good amount. So, you get to see him down there lifting and obviously on the sidelines or around the field. So, but yeah, he's he's still a tight end at heart. <laughs> what have you seen out of Robbie Ashford this fall? Uh, like I said earlier, I mean, he's, he's really assertive in the huddle and um, taking a lot of ownership. He really is. He's, he's maturing a lot in that standpoint. And, uh, obviously, you can't help but see the speed. I wish I had some of that. But he, he could afford to give me some if he wanted to. Uh, but, yeah, he's been really good. Right from the inside of the Talk about the summer workouts coming up, the preseason camp. How Pretty much every day, every day we could. Um, if we if we didn't have it had it set in our schedule, we just kind of did it on our own. And I think that's a big thing uh, when you talk about player led teams. Because uh, let's be honest, I mean uh, you, we have great coaches, but player led teams is what what takes you to the top. And I think that's been great. The, the tight end, and quarterback bond, receiver, quarterback bond, running back, quarterback bond. Uh, just an offensive bond as a whole has been great. And I think uh, throwing sessions in the summer has, have, has definitely helped us uh, helped us be more comfortable. With penetrating from the Montgomery advertiser, I, I know there were a thousand questions last year about that tight end involvement in the passing game becoming a huge part of this <coughs> offense. Is, are there any sort of new wrinkles or changes that you guys are looking to make in terms of that involvement this year? Or where, where do you sort of go from there? Yeah, we just want to build on top of it. I mean, we're not in the hiding anymore, though. Uh, people kind of know that we're going to use them. And that's kind of what we want, you know. Just try to stop us. Um, we're going to keep building on, on top of that. We've got a great room, deep room. We'll use it all. Uh, we're going to obviously make little changes here and there, but at the core, we still want to be <clears throat> the most physical unit on the team. And then, obviously, uh, like last year, we're going to build on top of that, have even more catches. Dan Peck, ESPN 167, uh, you mentioned the guys that you played with for a while in the tight end room. There are some new additions, Riley Ducker and uh, Hidalgo. What, what have you seen out of uh, those two guys? So, yeah, I mean, they're young. Shoot. And, and that's one thing that I think our room does a really good job of is teaching young guys the right way. Because um, that's a big deal. We've all been there. Uh, we all came in young. Uh, really just teaching physicality. I mean, I know Micah, he's He's got some physicality to him. He's got some fire to him. Uh, and we're just teaching them every step of the way. And uh, they're, they're going to be just fine. Uh, like I said, with the, with the leadership in that room, we'll, we'll be good. Luke, you went through this last year with Coach not really naming a starter at quarterback. Does that impact you guys, not knowing the first rep guy is going to be going? Or are you kind of used to this? Uh, yeah, it, do, it doesn't really impact us. Um, 
I can tell you from a tight end standpoint, uh, kind of the way our, our room rolls is we're just going to go out there and play ball. And I think that's kind of the mentality right now. And uh, Like we said earlier, I mean, we, we built some trust with all those guys. So I, I think we'll be ready to roll um, whoever steps on the field. And whoever steps on the field is going to be the best one. And we, we, we absolutely know that. So. Can I have a question? Zach, uh, you think they can do much in the spring? Yeah. Zach's definitely coming along. He, uh, he's one of the most talented throwers in the football you'll see. I mean, if you go out there and see it, you, you, you can see how it comes off of his hand. <clears throat> Again, one of those guys that we've built trust with and um, working every day to get better. And I, I've seen nothing but great about him, too. Um, obviously, it's, it's tough playing quarterback in the SEC for all those guys. Um, but fall camp is where you figure out who's going to rise to the top and 